That's just what they do. That's politics. They do it on the left. They do it on the right. They gaslight you. They manipulate you. They they promote narratives. And um, the only one who's not doing that is Robert F. Kennedy Jr. You a fan? Yeah, I am a fan. Yeah, he's the only one that makes sense to me. He's the only one that he doesn't attack people. He attacks um, actions and ideas. But he's um, he's much more reasonable and intelligent. I mean, the guy was an environmental attorney and cleaned up the East River. Joe Rogan finding himself in a political figure for Locke, boys. Does that work? Does that move? Is that a real move in any martial arts, by the way? Can I put somebody in a scorpion death lock? Will that work in the MMA? Probably not. You probably just get punched right in the dick. But uh, here's Joe Rogan, and he is in the center of a political tussle. And he's telling everybody, I'm going to vote for RFK Jr. And then, well, I don't, he doesn't exactly say that. We'll get into it in a second. But that's how everybody took it. And, that, that, and listen, perception is reality at this point. And if, you know, the entire media wave is screaming that Joe Rogan says to go vote for RFK Jr., then, then obviously that's not what he said, but that's kind of the outcome over here. And so he's now telling everybody, whoa, hold on a second. Don't get your politics from me as I talk about politics. I don't know if that's how that works, Joe. I'm a big fan, right? Big fan, but it sounds like that might be a concussion talk. <laughs> what are you talking about? You you got the world's second largest podcast. You start talking about politics. Yeah, you're going to you're going to influence whether you like it or not. This is Infowars over here. Joe Rogan backtracks on RFK Jr. endorsement. Donald Blump responds. So he was talking about everybody being a scumbag. And, and you're right, Joe. Everybody is a scumbag in politics. Everybody, everybody except for one. I think that's why the entire political spectrum hates Donald Trump. Donald Trump ain't just up against lefties. Donald Trump's up against the Republicans and the Democrats, the globalists, the, the establishment elite. The dude's clearly running his own social media. He's the only politician clearly running, whether for better or for worse, whether you like it or not, Donald Trump is clearly running his own social media, and he's the only person doing it. That's the type of humanity that I want. I don't like that these people are fake. I know that uh, Joe Biden cusses behind the scenes. I know he throws plates and attacks people, and then everybody pretends that he doesn't. Oh, look at look at Obama. Obama never cussed. What? Of course he... No, these are fake people, and they're being fake because they're lying scumbags. Donald Trump ain't got time to be fake. And so uh, essentially what happens is Joe Rogan comes out there and he says, uh, you know, the what is it? that's politics, he said. They do it on the left. They do it on the right. They gaslight you. They manipulate you. They promote narratives. The only one who's not doing that is RFK Jr. I'm a fan of RFK Jr. He's the only one that makes sense to me. He doesn't attack people. He attacks actions and ideas. He's much more reasonable and intelligent. So everybody took that as Joe Rogan is endorsing RFK Jr. And uh, Donald Trump comes out and he goes, it'll be interesting to see how loudly Joe Rogan gets booed the next time he enters a UFC ring, MAGA 2024. That's what I'm talking about. There's nobody running his account. He's not even listening to anybody. I'm sure there's people around him saying, listen, don't attack Joe Rogan. Don't attack him. He's the second largest podcaster out there. He says, he says some good things about you. He says some, uh, some awful things about Kamala Harris. Let's let sleeping dogs lie. Donald Trump ain't listening to that. No, Donald Trump says, no, you attack me. <laughs> Donald Trump is hyper-masculine. That's how you become a billionaire. You're not going to become a billionaire by being one of these soy goofballs who takes everything. No, Donald Trump don't take anything. <laughs> I mean, Donald Trump will attack you over a compliment. You know, be careful out there with that man. So anyway... He comes back out later on after everybody goes, hey, man, what are you doing? And he says, this is Joe Rogan quote, for the record, this is not an endorsement. This is me saying that I like RFK Jr. as a person. I really appreciate the way that he discusses things with civility and intelligence. I think we could use more of that in the world. No, no, you can't use that. Uh, listen, Joe, the reason why RFK Jr. is able to talk with intelligence and civility is because nobody sees him as a political threat. No matter what Donald Trump says, he's going to be attacked. If Donald Trump is correct, he's attacked. If he's wrong, he's, he's attacked. No matter what he does, he's going to be attacked. He has to fight fire with fire. Donald Trump has to come out with a massive amount of testosterone and masculinity and tear these people down. He has to. 
He doesn't have a choice. It's warfare. It's informational warfare. Then he goes on to say, I also think that Trump raising his fist and saying fight after getting shot is one of the most American... America, F, yeah! Oh, did I mess that up? America. Yeah, you anyway. I'm not the guy to get political information from. Again, you, you're not allowed to do that. <laughs> you're not allowed to do that. You're not, you're not allowed to have the second largest po uh, podcast on the planet and you're talking about politics and then be surprised that people are taking you um, or taking information from you in regards to their own politics. So, uh, you know, I don't know what is going on with Joe Rogan. Joe Rogan seems to be stoked and he shakes the hand of Donald Trump whenever he sees him at UFC. He says that he won't have Donald Trump on his podcast, which is ridiculous. I, I fully expect Donald Trump to be on this podcast. I think that is one of Donald Trump's. It, look, Joe Rogan's not turning that podcast down. Joe Rogan want Joe Rogan hyper competitive. He wants that number one slot back. He mad at Tucker Carlson. He wants that back. The best way to get your number one podcast back, Donald Trump, obviously, be the biggest thing out there. And so there's no way that Joe Rogan would turn it down. And I know that uh, Donald Trump's probably saving it closer to the election because it's going to be a moab of informational power housing. And so you'll see him on here. So I don't know why he's, he's I, again, it's easy and it's safe to say RFK Jr. You can kind of appease. I don't think you're, gonna, you're not going to appease MAGA. MAGA is ferocious. But maybe you, you appease some of these fake rhinos and these uh, lefty commies. I have no idea. It's the, it's the fence to sit on, I guess. But he already got some blowback. He's already trying to correct course over here. So we'll have to see what happens in the future if he uh, comes out and endorses it. So he shouldn't endorse anybody, by the way. He just told you don't take politics from me. So he shouldn't endorse anybody, I guess, at this point, right? But uh, Donald Trump will be on this podcast. All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching the video. Support channel. You want to keep up to date on Joe Rogan's uh, political musings. Hit that subscribe button and make why. Because the salt must flow.